Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the ABIT KX7333 RAID motherboard. What is included in this package are a couple of ATA133 cables as well as a floppy cable. You also get a couple of extra USB ports. This part goes plugged into your motherboard and this part goes installed on your case. We have the manual as well as some drivers and software and the motherboard itself. This motherboard is based upon the VIA KT333 chipset. It supports, of course, the Athlon XP, the Duron, and the Athlon. The CPU gets installed right here. We have four banks of DDR memory, which can be installed right here. We have the two IDE channels right here. Also right here are the High Point RAID controller. This is the floppy drive controller. Right here we have the six PCI slots and an AGP slot and also the fan locations on this board where you can plug extra fans onto are four. There's two right here, another one right here, and there's another one right here. By looking in this area of the board you'll notice there is no onboard video, sound, NIC, or firewire on this board, but rather it's very basic. You have the keyboard and mouse, you have the USB, this is not USB 2. You have two COM ports as well as the LPT port. Today I will be looking at some of the more important features of this BIOS. First I'll be looking at the advanced chipset features. Within here at the very top we have the memory timings. In here you can override and you can set it manually and set such things as the CAS latency, the bank interleave and so on. If you do that manually it really tweaks your memory and you really can get the memory to perform much better than a by speed setting. However, a by speed setting is great if you're not sure what manual settings to use. Also in the advanced chipset features we have the AGP and P2P bridge control. Within there really is to tweak your video card, the AGP aperture size, you have the AGP mode, you also down here got the fast writes, really again tweaking the video card side of things. Next, the integrated peripherals part of this BIOS, you can enable or disable the IDE channels like IDE channel 1 or 2, you can enable or disable the USB controllers, and the same goes for the onboard RAID, you can actually enable or disable that RAID controller. Another very important part to this BIOS is the PC health status. Within here you can set temperature thresholds for the system to either give you a warning or shut down. Also in here we have a shutdown when the CPU fan does fail. You can enable that. If you enable that it will shut down the system if your CPU fan was to fail. Also in here it gives you indications or readings as to what the CPU temperature is, what the system temperature is, the fan speeds, as well as all the voltages. One of the most interesting parts to any BIOS is where you can go in and adjust the voltages as well as the front side bus and the multiplier because you can go in there and really see how much you want to overclock your CPU. That's if, of course, you want to be overclocking it in the first place. There's a part in this BIOS called the Soft Menu 3 Setup. In here, you can adjust the front side bus, the ratio, the multiplier, and the voltages. Let me just go through a few of these things here. First of all, the front side bus can go all the way up to 250. You've got a ratio here, and what this does is really give you a ratio. So if you have a high front side bus, it really makes the system stable. Also, the multiplier factor here, you can go all the way up and over 13. Further down, you've got the voltages. Now, in this particular part, we can go ahead and adjust the CPU voltage all the way up to 1.85. We can adjust the I.O. voltage all the way up to 3.65, and we can adjust the DDR voltage up to 2.85. Further down here we have what's called a CPU fast command decode. You can either have a normal, fast, or ultra setting. I will be using a benchmark program here today called Sci Software Sandra. This is the downloadable demo version off of their website. I will be using an Athlon XP1800 overclocked to 2000 as well as using OCZ3200 DDR memory. This is the CPU benchmark you're looking at here right now. I got a result of 4,597. The CPU multimedia benchmark was 9,123. And finally, the memory benchmark was 
3,023 megabytes per second. Now maybe you're wondering, how do you get memory speeds this high? Well, first of all, you need two things, and you need quality pieces here. The ABIT, the board is fantastic, as well as memory. I'm using the OCZ. 3200 memory, I was able to get the front side bus up to 210 megahertz. Just to show you here, I'm using a program called the WCPU ID. This program really identifies the processor you're using, the internal clock, the system clock, the system bus, and the multiplier. As you can see in red, I'm using a front side bus of 210 megahertz. So definitely this board has some excellent potential even going beyond this. I think the limiting factor here is the memory. I believe that this board can go much higher than 210. I was able to get the memory at 220 to post, but it would not go into the operating system. So again, it shows you the potential of this board to possibly going all the way maybe up to 250 megahertz. Well, I will let the results speak for themselves here. This is certainly beyond a doubt a wicked board and certainly again wicked results with regards to performance on this board. Front side bus settings I have never ever seen before. I've never been able to get a board quite this high. I think again the limiting factor in this board is the memory. A result of 210 megahertz is really something else. This is really though a really a no frills board. You have no audio, no video, no NIC, no firewire on the board. But the important part about this board is the fact that you can overclock with it and you can overclock really, really well. Now this board does, however, offer you a RAID option. No questions about it. This is definitely a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also check out my website at www.3dgameman.com and when you're there, pop into the forums. You can go in there and register. Registration is free. You can leave your own suggestions and comments and find out all kinds of information about every product that I video review. Until the next time, take care.